The Dassault Mirage F-1 is a French fighter and attack aircraft designed and manufactured by Dassault Aviation. It was developed as a successor to the popular Mirage 3 family. During the 1960s, Dassault commenced development of what would become the Mirage F-1 as a private venture, alongside the larger Mirage F-2. Work on the F-1 eventually took precedence over the more costly F-2, which was cancelled during the late 1960s. The French Air Force, Army de l'Air, took interest in the fledgling fighter to meet its requirement for an all-weather interceptor aircraft. Accordingly, Initial production units were equipped with the Thomson CSF Cyrano 4 monopulse radar. During the latter half of 1974, the Mirage F-1 entered service in the French Air Force. Shortly thereafter, the type was deployed as the main interceptor of the French Air Force, a capacity which it continued to serve in until the arrival of the Mirage 2000. It later transitioned to an aerial reconnaissance role. During June 2014, the last French Mirage F-1S was retired from service. Powered by a single Snecma Adder 9K50 turbojet engine, which provided about 7 tons force, 69 knots, 15,000 lbf, of thrust, and armed with an array of French and American sourced armaments, the Mirage F-1 has been operated as a light multipurpose fighter and has been exported to around a dozen nations. The type has seen action in a large number of armed conflicts involving several of its operators, including the Pakwisha War, the Senapa War, the Iran-Iraq War, the Gulf War, the South African Border War, the War in Afghanistan, the Chadian-Libyan Conflict, the 2011 military intervention in Libya, and the Northern Mali Conflict. More than 720 Mirage F-1S were constructed between 1966 and 1992. It was succeeded in production by the Dassault Mirage 2000. Development The Mirage F-1 emerged from a series of design studies performed by French aircraft manufacturer Dassault Aviation. Having originally sought to develop a larger swept-wing derivative of the Mirage 3, which became the Mirage F-2, to serve as a vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, propulsion test bed akin to the Dassault Mirage IIIV, however, it was soon recognized that the emerging design could function as the basis for a competent fighter as well. Both the Mirage F-2 and a smaller derivative, referred to the Mirage F-3, received substantial attention from both Dassault and the French Air Force, the latter being interested in its adoption as a long-range fighter bomber as a stopgap measure prior to the adoption of the envisioned Anglo-French Variable Geometry AFVG, strike aircraft. Parallel with the Mirage F-3 study, which was intended to serve as an interceptor aircraft, Dassault decided to study a single-seat derivative which featured the all-French Snecma Adder 9K50 turbojet engine. As a result of the cancellation of two major projects, the company's design team found themselves with a decreased workload. Accordingly, in mid-1964, Dassault decided to commence design work on the smaller aircraft, subsequently designated as the Mirage F-1 with the intention of producing a successor to its Mirage 3 and Mirage 5 fighters, this work was performed under a government contract in anticipation of a potential French Air Force specification for an all-weather interceptor to succeed its fleet of Mirage 3C aircraft. The Mirage F-1 was of similar size to the Delta-winged Mirage 3 and Mirage 5, and was powered by the same Snecma Adder engine as had been used on the larger Dassault Mirage 4, however, unlike its predecessors, it shared the layout of a swept wing mounted high on the fuselage and a conventional tail surface as used by the F-2. Although it has a smaller wingspan than the Mirage 3, the Mirage F-1 nevertheless proved to be superior to its predecessor, carrying more fuel while possessing a shorter takeoff run and superior maneuverability. On December 23, 1966, the first prototype conducted its maiden flight. The first flight had been delayed due to a funding shortage affecting the overall program. During its fourth flight, the prototype was recorded as having attained a top speed in excess of Mach 2. On May 18, 1967, the first prototype was lost in an accident at DGASA's Anval, Istras. The crash had resulted from a loss of control after encountering Flutter, killing its pilot. Despite this misfortune, during late 1966, 
the Mirage F-1 program was officially adopted by the French Air Force. Following a redesign period, on March 20, 1967, the second prototype performed its first flight. On May 26, 1967, an order for three Mirage F-1 prototypes was placed, while the larger and more expensive Mirage F-2 was formally abandoned. These three pre-service aircraft, along with a static structural test airframe, soon joined the test program. By late 1971, the construction of an initial batch of 85 production standard Mirage F-1 had been authorized. In order to comply with the French Air Force's requirement for an all-weather interceptor, the first production Mirage F-1C was equipped with a Thomson CSF Cyrano 4 radar system. The later Cyrano 4-1 version added a limited look-down capability. However, Mirage F-1 pilots reported that the radar was prone to overheating, which reduced its efficiency. During May 1973, the first deliveries to the French Air Force took place, the type entered squadron service with EC 230th Normandy Neiman in December of that year. By October 1971, the Mirage F-1 was under production at both Dassault's Bordeaux facility and at Sabka's own plant in Belgium, work at the latter having been performed under an industrial arrangement associated to Belgium's order for 106 Mirage 5 aircraft. The 79 aircraft of the next production run were delivered during the period March 1977 to December 1983. These were of the Mirage F-1C 200 version, which featured a fixed refueling probe, which required an extension of the fuselage by 7 cm. Design The Dassault Mirage F-1 was a single-engine fighter aircraft, designed to function as both an interceptor aircraft and as a capable ground attack platform. While officially developed for the French Air Force as a capable air defense aircraft, Dassault had placed considerable emphasis on developing the Mirage F-1 for ground attack duties as a secondary role during its early design. Developed by the company to function as a successor to the successful Mirage 3 and Mirage 5 families, it drew heavily upon its predecessors as well, sharing the same fuselage as the Mirage 3, while adopting a considerably different wing configuration. The Mirage F-1 used a shoulder-mounted swept wing, instead of the delta wing of the Mirage 3, which resulted in a more than 50% reduction in required runway lengths and increased internal fuel tankage for 40% greater combat range. The approach speed prior to landing is 25% less than the preceding Mirage IIIE. According to Dassault, the negative performance impact associated with the increased thickness of the Mirage F-1S wing over the Mirage IIIE's counterpart had been offset by improvements made to the propulsion system. The wing is fitted with both double-slotted trailing edge flaps and full-span leading edge slats, the latter being automatically operated to reduce the aircraft's turn radius during combat. A key area of advancement on the Mirage F-1 over its predecessors was in its onboard avionics. The Thomson CSF Cyrano 4 monopulse radar system, developed from the Cyrano 2 unit installed on the Mirage IIIE, serves as the main sensor, it operates in three different modes, air target acquisition and tracking, ground mapping, and terrain avoidance. The later Cyrano 4-1 model also provided for a limited look-down capability. According to aerospace publication Flight International, the Cyrano 4 radar was capable of detecting aerial targets at double the range of earlier models. The standard production Mirage F-1 was furnished with an instrument landing system, ILS, radar altimeter, UHF-VHF radio sets, tactical air navigation system, TACAN, and a ground data link. Other avionics include an autopilot and yaw damper. The Mirage F-1 was powered by a single Snecma Adder 9K50 turbojet engine, which was capable of providing roughly 7 tons force, 69 knots, 15,000 lbf, of thrust, giving the aircraft a maximum speed of 1,453 mph and an altitude ceiling of 65,615 feet. Flight International described the Adder engine as being unexpectedly simple despite the adoption of an afterburner. An improved engine, initially known as the Super Adder and later as the Snecma M53, was intended to be eventually adopted on production Mirage F-1 aircraft, as well as for successor aircraft. 
The initial armament of the Mirage F-1 was a pair of internal 30mm cannons, and a single Matra R-530 medium-range air-to-air missile, which was carried under the fuselage. It could carry a total combined payload of 13,889 pounds of bombs and missiles, all of which would be carried externally. After 1979, the medium-range R-530 was replaced by the improved Matra Super 530F missile as the latter came into service in quantity with the French Air Force. In 1977, the R-550 Magic was released, the Mirage F-1 has these missiles mounted on rails on the wingtips. Around the same time, the American AIM-9 Sidewinder was also introduced to the Mirage F-1S armament, both the Spanish and Hellenic Air Forces had requested the integration of the Sidewinder upon their own Mirage F-1C and Mirage F-1CG fighters. Operational History France During 1984, the first operational deployment to be performed by French Air Force Mirage F-1S was conducted during Operation Manta, the French intervention in Chad to counteract the growing Libyan encroachment in the region. A force of four Mirage F-1C200S provided air cover for a further group of four Jaguar strike aircraft, they also participated in a number of skirmishes against pro-Libyan Transitional Government of National Unity, GUNT, rebels. In 1986, French Mirage F-1S were redeployed to Chad as part of Operation A Pervier. A flight of four F-1C200S provided fighter cover for a strike package of eight Jaguars during the air raid against the Libyan airbase at Wadi Dum, on February 16. A pair of F-1CRS also conducted pre- and post-strike reconnaissance missions. In response to the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait, France performed two deployments of Mirage F-1S to the Persian Gulf. In October 1991, 12 Mirage F-1CS were dispatched to Doha, Qatar in order to boost air defences, while a further four Mirage F-1CRS of ER-33 were deployed to Saudi Arabia as part of Operation Dagid in September 1991. To avoid the risk of being mistaken for hostile Iraqi Mirage F-1S, all of the French F-1CRS were grounded during the first few days of the Allied air attacks, flying their first combat mission on January 26, 1991. An additional reason for their initial grounding was the lack of compatible night vision equipment. They were used in the fighter-bomber role, using their more capable navigation systems to lead formations of French Jaguar fighter-bombers, as well as to fly reconnaissance missions, in this capacity, 114 sorties had been flown by the end of hostilities. Following the end of the Gulf War, France deployed a number of Mirage F-1CRS to bases in neighboring Turkey as part of Operation Provide Comfort to protect Kurds from Iraqi aggression. In November 2004, in response to an Ivorian air attack upon French peacekeepers, a force of three Mirage F.1 jets launched an attack upon Yamasukro Airport, destroying a total of two Su-25 aircraft and three attack helicopters. In October 2007, Three Mirage 2000s and three Mirage F-1S were deployed at Kandahar Air Force Base, where they flew close air support and tactical reconnaissance missions in support of international forces in southern Afghanistan. The last French unit to be equipped with the Mirage F-1 was the Escadron de Reconnaissance 233rd Savoy, home-based at mont de Marsan, which flew the latest version of the F-1CR. The unit's primary mission was tactical reconnaissance, with a secondary mission of ground attack, because of the unique missions of the 233rds, their unofficial motto among the pilots had become, find, identify, and photograph or destroy. In accordance with a bilateral defense agreement between France and Chad, a pair of 233rds F-1 CRS, along with three pilots, a photo interpreter, an intelligence officer and ground crews were always deployed to N'Djamena, Chad. The two 233rds F-1 CRS operated with three Mirage 2000DS, also based on rotation from France to Chad. During March 2011, two 233rds Mirage F-1 CRS were deployed to Solanzara Air Base, Corsica, and conducted reconnaissance missions over Libya, also a Mirage F-1 operator, as part of Operation Harmattan. In 2013 two 33rds F-1 CRS also participated in Operation Serval in Mali. On January 10, launching from their base in N'Djamena in Chad, 
the first French air intervention mission against Islamist rebels in Mali, was undertaken by F-1CRS and Mirage 2000DS, supported by a French Air Force C-135K tanker. The 233rds F-1CRS provided valuable photo information for strike aircraft flying the next day from France. Later on January 16, two 233rds F-1CRS were deployed from Chad to Bamako, Mali. Both aircraft were fitted with extra-long-range 2,200-liter ventral tanks, and when operating over Mali also carried two 250 kg unguided bombs, plus their one internal 30 mm cannon, in case they were called on for close air support missions. In order to replace the elderly F-1CRS of 2-33S, a number of Rafales were outfitted with an advanced reconnaissance pod. The Rafale's range, maneuverability, and combat load is far superior to the F-1CR that it replaces, as well as its reconnaissance capabilities, after the Rafale's pod has taken photographs, these can be almost instantly transmitted back to its base or where the imagery would be required if provisioned with compatible downlink equipment. The French Air Force's last Mirage F-1 fighters were retired from operational service on June 13, 2014. The last units in service, these being 11 single-seat Mirage F-1 CRS and 3 two-seat F-1BS were transferred to storage, six aircraft performed a final appearance in a flypast during Bastille Day celebrations over Paris prior to their disposal. Ecuador Between 1979 and 1980, Ecuador received 16 F.1 JAS, a variant of the F-1E, and a pair of F.1 JES. The Ecuadorian Air Forces, FE, Squadron of Mirage F-1JAS, Esquadron de Casa 2112, went into action in January-February 1981 during the brief Paquisha War between Ecuador and Peru, less than two years after the aircraft had been delivered to the FE. At that time, the Ecuadorians decided against directly challenging the Peruvian Air Force, abbreviated FAP whose Mirage 5PS and Sukhoi Su-22 were providing air cover to Peruvian heliborne operations within the combat zone. Instead, the Mirages were kept at a distance, performing combat air patrols, CAPS, on the fringes of the combat area, in case the border clashes escalated into wider hostilities. During one incident, a Peruvian Sukhoi Su-22 was intercepted and a single air-to-air R.550 missile was launched, however, it failed to strike the Peruvian aircraft. In 1995, during the Senapa War, the Ecuadorian mirages went back into action against Peru. This time, while the bulk of the squadron was kept back at Tora AFB, a small detachment of Mirage F1S and KFIRC.2S was deployed to undisclosed forward air bases to dissuade Peruvian attack aircraft from entering the combat zone. By this time, the planes had been upgraded with Israeli electronics and Python Mk.3 air-to-air missiles, usually mounted on the outer underwing pylons, and Matra R550 Magic AAMs on wingtip launch rails. On February 10, 1995, a pair of Mirage F1JAS, piloted by Major Raul Bonderas and Captain Carlos Souza Katagi, were directed over five targets approaching the combat zone in the Senapa Valley. After making visual contact, the Mirages fired their missiles, claiming two Peruvian Su-22 MIS shot down, while a KFIR claimed a further A-37B Dragonfly. Sources in Peru, however, deny the claim that the Sukhoi Su-22 MS were shot down by Ecuadorian aircraft, stating that one was shot down by Ecuadorian anti-aircraft artillery fire during a low-flying ground attack mission, while the second was lost because of an engine fire. Bonderas served as commander of the Ecuadorian Air Force between May 2014 and February 2016, while Uza Katagi died in a training accident in 2002 at Salinas Air Base, in the Santa Elena province. In 2011, all of the remaining Ecuadorian Mirage F.1S still in service were retired after having flown more than 33,000 flight hours during their 32 years in active service they were replaced by a squadron of Atlas Cheetah fighters bought from South Africa. Iraq During the late 1970s, Iraq placed an order for a variant of the Mirage F-1, designated as the Mirage F-1EQ, 
which were specially modified for extended range to perform strike missions and were dissimilar to any of the models operated by the French Air Force. During this period, France was a major supplier of military equipment to the nation. In 1983, the latter loaned several Dassault Brigitte Super attendered to Iraq while the latter was awaiting the delivery of the Mirage F 1 EQ, which experienced a protracted development period and thus the delay of deliveries. The superattendard had been strongly advocated for by Dassault, who had feared the potential cancellation of the sizable Mirage F-1 order by Iraq if the request was not granted. In 1982, it was agreed to reconfigure several of the under-order Iraqi Mirage's F-1S from a general combat configuration into a dedicated ground attack platform, adopting Thompson CSF-built sophisticated electronic warfare equipment and a vastly increased payload capacity which included the newly developed S-30 air-to-surface missile. In this role, the Mirage F-1 was used to replace Iraq's aging fleet of Hawker Hunters. In September 1985, an agreement was signed between Dassault and Iraq for the delivery of a further 24 aircraft. During the Iran-Iraq War, Iraq's Mirage F-1 EQS were used intensively for interception, ground attack and anti-shipping missions. The Mirage F-1 EQ allowed for Iraqi strikes to be conducted over a greater combat radius into Iran than had been previously possible. In November 1981, an Iraqi Mirage F-1 accounted for the first Iranian F-14 Tomcat to be shot down, followed by several more in the following months, giving the previously timid Iraqi Air Force new confidence in air-to-air -air combat engagements with the Iranians. According to research by journalist Tom Cooper, during the war 33 Iraqi Mirage F-1S were shot down by Iranian F-14S and two were downed by Iranian F-4 Phantom II units. Iraqi F-1 EQS claimed at least 35 Iranian aircraft, mostly F-4S and Northrop F-5E Tiger IIS, but also several F-14 Tomcats. On September 14, 1983, a pair of Turkish Air Force F-100F Super Sabre fighter jets of 182 Philo Atmica penetrated Iraqi airspace. A Mirage F-1 EQ of the Iraqi Air Force intercepted the flight and fired a Super 530 F-1 missile at them. One of the Turkish fighter jets, S-N56-3903, to 3903, was shot down and crashed in Zakho Valley near the Turkish-Iraqi border. The plane's pilots reportedly survived the crash and were returned to Turkey. The incident was not made public by either side, although some details surfaced in later years. The incident was revealed in 2012 by Turkish Defense Minister Smit Ilmaz, in response to a parliamentary question by Republican People's Party, CHP, MP Medan Lutfi Baydar in the aftermath of the downing of a Turkish F-4 Phantom II in Syria, in 2012. On May 17, 1987, an Iraqi Mirage F-1 fired a pair of Exocet missiles at the United States Navy USN, warship USS Stark as it patrolled the Persian Gulf, killing 37 members of Stark's crew. The exact motive and orders of the pilot remain unclear, although Iraq later apologized for the attack, referring to the incident as a mistake and blaming Iran. Prior to the outbreak of the 1991 Gulf War, Iraqi's Mirage F-1 EQ fleet was the second most numerous type operated by the Iraqi Air Force, the most numerous being the MiG-21. On January 17, 1991, during the opening minutes of the conflict, an unarmed, United States Air Force, U.S. Air Force, F-111, crewed by Captain James A. Denton and Captain Brent D. Brandon scored a kill against an Iraqi Mirage F-1 EQ, which they managed to maneuver into the ground making it the only F-111 to achieve an aerial victory over another aircraft. Later in the war, an Iraqi Mirage piloted by Captain Nafi al-Yaburi successfully downed an American F-111 Raven through aerial maneuvering as it crashed while attempting to avoid a missile fired by al-Yaburi. Coalition forces shot down several Iraqi F-1s during the Gulf War, such as six F-1 EQs that were shot down by U.S. Air Force F-15 Eagles. A pair of F-1 EQS, which were preparing to carry out a Beluga cluster bomb attack on Saudi oil facilities were shot down by a Royal Saudi Air Force, RSAF, F-15C. Of a pre-conflict force of 88 Mirage F-1 EQS, 23 was destroyed in the war, a further 6 were damaged, 
24 were flown to Iran and interned, only 23 aircraft remained in service by the end of the Gulf War. Of the 23 destroyed Iraqi Mirage F-1 EQS, 9 were claimed to have been destroyed in aerial combat. Morocco During 1975, a large order for 30 Mirage F-1 CHS and 20 Mirage F-1 EHS was placed by the Royal Moroccan Air Force, RMAF, with Dassault, the first of which to be delivered during 1978. Upon delivery, these were grouped into two squadrons, one focusing on ground attack operations and the other upon air defense, comprising over a third of its fighter force. The Mirage F-1 served as the primary air defense fighter of the RMAF for the next two decades. As early as 1979, these aircraft were engaged in combat missions against the forces of the Polisario Front, operating in Western Sahara. The RMAF lost seven Mirages as a result of hostile fire, along with a further six which had crashed due to different mishaps. Three Mirage pilots were killed and three were captured. According to politics author Anthony Cordesman, the RMAF has struggled to effectively service and operate all of its Mirage F-1S, possibly due to a lack of funding for spare parts. South Africa During 1971, South Africa commenced its search for a replacement for the Mirage 3, as a result, it chose to purchase a license to manufacture both the Mirage F-1 and its engine with the intention of producing up to 100 Mirage F-1S. However, this license was quickly cancelled as a consequence of the impending 1977 arms embargo. The SAAF proceeded to procure 16 Mirage F-1 CZS and 32 Mirage F-1 AZS, which were quickly delivered by Dassault prior to the embargo being implemented, the first of these deliveries occurring in 1975. Both the F-1 CZ and F-1 AZ variants of the South African Air Force SAAF, saw considerable action during operations in the border war. In November 1978, the first five F-1 CZS were deployed to southwest Africa, Namibia, tasked with providing escort for reconnaissance flights over southern Angola. From 1980, such deployments as escort aircraft became regular. Due to teething problems with the F-1AZ, F-1 CZS were initially assigned the strike role in southern Angola using Matra M-155 rocket pods or 250 kg bombs. F-1 CZS of 3 Squadron down 2 Angolan MiG-21S in 1981 and 1982. On November 6, 1981, during Operation Daisy, two F-1 CZS were vectored by GCI to intercept two MiG-21S heading south. Major Johann Rankin shot down the wingman with cannon fire, as the missiles failed to lock onto the MiGs. On October 5, 1982, while escorting a Canberra of 12 Squadron on a photo reconnaissance sortie, Major Rankin and his wingman engaged two MiG-21S on an intercept course. He fired two Magic AAMs at one of the MiGs, damaging the aircraft with the second missile. Rankin then attacked the second MiG and destroyed it with cannon fire. The first MiG was able to return to base, but sustained additional damage making a belly landing. In May 1982, an Angolan Mi-8 helicopter that the SADF believed to be carrying senior officers was located and destroyed in the Kavela area. The helicopter was located with rotors running on the ground by a pair of F-1 CZS and destroyed by 30mm cannon fire. Two F-1 AZS of one squadron were lost over Angola. On February 20, 1988, while flying an interdiction sortie in F-1AZ-245 against a road convoy during Operation Hooper, Major Ed Every was shot down by an SA-13 Gopher SAM. F-1AZ-223 was lost almost a month later, on March 19, when Captain Willy van Copenhagen flew into the ground while returning from a diversionary strike at night. A SAAF board of inquiry was unable to determine the causes of the crash. Two F-1AZS and a F-1CZ were also damaged by enemy action, but were able to return to base. On June 7, 1980, while attacking Swapo's Tobias Hanko training camp during Operation Skeptic, Smoke Shell, Major Franz Pretorius and Captain I.C. Duplessis were both hit by SA-3 Goa SAMs. Duplessis' aircraft was hit in a fuel line and he had to perform a dead stick landing at AFB Ondangwe. 
Pretorius's aircraft sustained heavier damage and had to divert to Ruakana forward airstrip, where he landed with only the main undercarriage extended. Both aircraft were repaired and returned to service. During the last phase of the Bush War 683 combat sorties were flown by the F-1AZS, and more than 100 SAMs were fired at them. On September 27, 1987, during Operation Modular, an attempt was mounted to intercept two Cuban FAR MiG-23 MLS Captain Arthur Piercy's F-1CZ was damaged by either an AA-7 Apex or AA-8 AFID AAM fired head-on by Major Alberto Le Rivas. The explosion destroyed the aircraft's drag chute and damaged the hydraulics. Piercy was able to recover to AFB Rundu, but the aircraft overshot the runway. The impact with the rough terrain caused Piercy's ejection seat to fire, he failed to separate from the seat and suffered major spinal injuries. In February 1987, three F-1AZS fired several V-3B missiles at a group of MiG-23S without success. This was repeated again in February 1988 when a F-1AZ fired a missile at a MiG-23 and fired 30mm cannon, again without success. Various other unsuccessful attempts were made during the 1987-88 period. Apart from operations from Namibia in July 1981, a pilot of the Mozambican Air Force defected with his MiG-17. He flew from his base near Maputo towards South Africa. Two F-1AZS returning from a training exercise intercepted the MiG-17. In March 1981 two F-1AZS intercepted a Zimbabwean Army CASA C-212 and forced it to land in South Africa after asserting that the aircraft had strayed into South African airspace. The SAAF lost an additional six F-1AZS and three F-1CZS to various mishaps. F-1CZ-205 caught fire after landing and was repaired using the tail section of F-1CZ-206, Piercy's aircraft. Spain. In June 1975, with tension growing with Morocco, Spain decided to strengthen its air force and bought 15 Mirage F-1C that were allocated to Albacete Abe. In mid-1976 there was still some tension with Morocco and Algerian and Libyan MiG-25 flights on the Mediterranean, which would lead the Spanish Air Force to purchase 10 more Mirage F-1C and two years later order 48 Mirage F-1C and F-1E. Some years later also bought 12 F-1EDA-DDAs retired from Qatar Air Force, which donated some equipment and weapons used by those Mirage F-1S. In Spanish service the F-1C was known as the C.14A, the F-1E was the C.14B and the two-seater F-1EDA as the C.14C. They served mainly as Spain's primary air defense interceptors and interdiction as secondary role until they were superseded by Spain's F-18A Hornets. They served with ALA-11, 11, 11th Wing, in Manises, ex Cotteri Plains, ALA-14 in Albacete, and ALA-46 at Gondo in the Canary Islands. ALA-46 used their Mirage F-1S mainly as air defense planes, seeing same deep blue color pattern as French planes. In October 1996, Thompson CSF was awarded a FFR 700 million, 96 million US dollars, contract to upgrade 48 F1C-E single-seaters and 4 F1EDA trainers to Mirage F1M standard, see below. Ex Qatar Mirage F1S were left outside the upgrade, as it was a different version, and were the first ones to be retired. As well as a service life extension, this improved the avionics and added anti-shipping capability with a modernized Cyrano IVM radar and Exocet compatibility. From July 2006 to November 2006, Spanish Mirage F-1S were deployed to Lithuania as a part of NATO's Baltic Air Policing mission, during this deployment, they were scrambled twice to intercept undisclosed intruders. On January 20, 2009, a pair of Spanish F-1S from the 14th Wing crashed near their base during a routine Spanish Air Force dogfight training mission, resulting in the deaths of all three crew members. The wreckage of the two jets, including the remains of the aircrew, was found about 3 kilometers, 1.9 miles, apart. By 2009, there were 38 F-1MS in service with SQ Adron 141, 141st Squadron. Patton's and Eskew Adron 142, 
142nd Squadron, Tigrisavala 14. In 2013, the Spanish Air Force retired its fleet of Mirage F-1S, having progressively phased the type out of service as increasing numbers of the Eurofighter Typhoon had become available. During 2013, it was reported that Spain may sell 16 F-1MS to Argentina but it seems they now have the budget to buy new CAFERs instead. The deal went through and Argentina bought the Spanish Mirages in October 2013, but the deal was scrapped in March 2014 after pressure from the United Kingdom on Spain to not assist in FAA modernization over tensions between the countries over the Falkland Islands. Libya Libya procured a total of 36 Mirage F.1 ADS to equip the Libyan Air Force, functioning as an air superiority fighter. The base F.1 AD model is a specialized strike variant that lacks the standard radar unit, it is instead outfit. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.